Faye. Anyway. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to FF episode 2707, 2707, and Mike Matthews with the show called Mike's Daily Podcast. I'm trying something different. I'm doing this in the morning, not the night. And that's because I want this to go out. All right. That's about my only plan. And that I can sing to you and my voice is going to be not so... I don't think I can sing in the morning. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's a little bit, you know, uh, get that morning voice. So here we are and... Mike's What? Daily that's interesting. Podcast. I'll have some stuff for you yeah. at Cafe Anyway to tell you about. One of the things I found as I was rummaging through all my bags and stuff that I take to work, and there is a thumb drive that I've used that helped me out in many situations where the network went down and the only way you could use the sneaker network, which is you take your thumb drive, you load whatever it is you need, then take it by foot with your sneakers on which I don't really wear sneakers over to the computer you want it to be on and then you put it plug in the USB drive and pull it off of that and da da you've done it well as I'm because I I need to find this thumb drive because it's got a bunch of cool stuff on it and I know I have it somewhere and I don't know where it went and it's the the color black so you know it hides Really well in dark places So I'm trying to now Because of the color And I need more light in my house Is what I'm also finding So I found a bunch of Stuff that I didn't know Oh that's where that went So I'm finding everything else I lost Before I find this hopefully And one of the things I found Was a newspaper The local newspaper The Castro Valley Forum And we're in Podcastro Valley somewhere. And here's today's podcast picture. At Cafe Anyway, the last place on earth. Oh, yes. The podcast picture. I'm glad you asked. It's going to be a fantastic picture. I can't wait to tell you all about it. It's probably going to be from that trip, that awesome cruise I took on the bay between Richmond over to uh, San Francisco, then up underneath the Golden Gate Bridge, and then over to Sausalito and Tiburon. I'll post that. See that at mikesdailypodcast.com. The website is back up. Yes, finally, it is back up. It took me all day. My web service was giving me the runaround. Made me angry. It made me bark and growl like the late great Basil the Boxer. Yes. Don't give me the runaround like Blues Traveler. Yes. That was... No, I had to talk to them with those chat bots, with the little chat thing. Hey, click on this little box and talk to them. And of course, they never showed up. And I waited and waited. So, eventually it did come back up. But I I, I typed into the box. You will travel into the incredible universe. Um, My website is down. We'll be with you in 10 minutes. Okay, but my website is down. We'll be with you in, in 10 minutes. So I walk away and I got distracted with other things. And I come back. You weren't there. So we closed the chat. <laughs> Did you read what I wrote? That's the problem. Just fix my website. Bring it back up. Ugh. Okay. What I did find, though, with this old, amongst all the other things that I found, was an old piece of this old pod, Castro Valley. Whoa. Mike's Matthews Mint Park. Front panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. Fitness training place in Castro Valley. So he still has it. In fact, I have also right next to me. So I have the one from November 11th last year. Or never, November 30th of last year. And I have the one from November 15th, which just came out. And he says in the one from November 30th of last year, I know you're busy. After all, we're officially in the middle of the holiday season. For these reasons, I'm going to make this one pretty short and focus on one word. I've been a personal trainer for a while now, and I've seen this one word be the difference between great and not so great results. The word is 
get Let me explain It's the difference between I have to work out And I get to work out Believe me when I tell you That I see this difference every day How we think about things Has a massive effect on how they work for us And nowhere is this more true Than with our health We all know the benefits of exercise We know that even if you don't necessarily Love the workout itself You're going to love how you feel afterward And you're going to love Knowing that you're doing something positive for yourself Focus on that And watch your results triple immediately Focus on that and you'll find yourself engaging more In how the exercises feel Focus on that and you'll find yourself Pushing just a little bit harder And he says focus on that about 15 more times And okay, but that is a good idea Yeah, get It goes back to another podcast that I was listening to That I did back in June The podcast was called Hat Pen And I still don't know why I called it Hat Pen I think it was National Hat Pen Day But in it, I was discussing a podcast I had heard where there was a lady that said, don't use the word can't. And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. (laughs) She was saying, use the word don't. You want to go drinking? I don't drink. And that makes, because can't brings up questions. Oh, why can't you go drinking? Anyway, I don't drink. Why don't you drink? Well, people don't. I guess they do ask. Well, I guess they don't ask as much. Don't is a little less given out questions. That's what she was saying. Now that I said it out loud, it doesn't make any sense, does it? (laughs) I don't know. I'll try it and see what I find out. Well, sales are down heading into the holiday season. This came from the most recent Castro Valley Forum. Carl Medford wrote this With Halloween in the rear view mirror Not necessarily The ha- Halloween is in the rear view mirror Yeah but good lord Somebody still has this huge werewolf Down the street Gotta put that away man Two weeks later it doesn't look right <laughs> The big scary kind of werewolf As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcaster Valley anyway. The last place on earth Let's see it says Uh Don't you love when you read articles How much fluff they throw in there in the beginning I know I throw a little fluff at the beginning of my podcast But I try and get to the meat as quickly as possible The slowest season in the real estate calendar Is usually November And December Peaking in September Sales usually begin to ease towards the end of the year And then come to life again in the spring Basically saying If you're looking for a house Or if you're trying to sell a house September Is probably the worst month Because everybody's doing that Just before school Or maybe just as school's starting And they're trying to wrap it up This year however With the sudden decrease in interest rates Some think we may see a bump in sales Through to the end of the year Uh, The job rate just came out Uh, There looks like A lot of people lost their jobs Last month I guess the job rate is about Let's see Jobless claims is what How we call it They've jumped to the highest Total since August of this year So with that That means that they won't Necessarily at the Fed Raise interest rates Like they've been doing a bunch of this year And it actually might start coming down because it, they do that to fight inflation. Inflation it might start to come down. With 62% of current mortgage holders across the country locked in at rates at 4% or lower, there's not a lot of incentive for home buyers to sell, uh, homeowners to sell. As a result, many of the homes hitting the market are there because circumstances dictate that they be sold, like a death, divorces, job relocations, and the like. A number of single family homes Available for sale in Castro Valley Last month dipped 25% From the same time last year The Daily Haley The Almost Daily Haley San Lorenzo dipped a whole 61% And Alameda as a whole Alameda County rather Decreased 26.5% 28.6% Mike's out of left field recordings 
recording everything. Captures actions that will never again be repeated. As Treasury yields decline, the mortgage rates are moving down. So, there. I'm going to end that and throw that Podcastro Valley newspaper off to the side. The other fantastic news is that, uh, finally, U.S. Representative George Santos has said that he will not run for re-election. There's a damning ethics report out. Um, the House Ethics Committee report. Additional uncharged and unlawful conduct is what they found by him. He is a first-term lawmaker from New York area. He has also pleaded not guilty to a 23-count federal indictment accusing him of an array of corruption, including 10 felony accounts. 10 felony counts that federal prosecutors added in October. And he is also uh, a Republican. I will continue on my mission to serve my constituents, blah, 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 blah. The committee's report found that Santos sought to fraudulently exploit every aspect of his House candidacy for his own personal financial profit. Despite his attempts to blame others for much of the misconduct, Representative Santos was a knowing and active participant in the wrongdoing. That all from Reuters. The Cotton Corners Corner. Corner. Da, 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 da. The Cutting Corners Corner. Ginormous. Okay. Yes. So we'll talk to. All right. Oh, my fancy is killing Shoe Heart. And look who else is here. Hi, Mark! It's Benita the Brodeo Queen! How y'all doing? <laughs> and it's a new squirrel fellow player, tell you what. What? We had a nice rainstorm. It's kind of cleaned off everything. And we're seeing that now. We love you, Mike. That all the gutters are clogged up. And they're dripping ever so strangely on our heads. So you're going to have to get up there and clean those, Mike. This is fantastic stuff that we talk about in the morning time. Thank you. You don't mention it. All this stuff that we cover is fantastic. Look who else is here. Hello, my game make delicious with the hustle in the air, Oh, wow. He doesn't sound as crazy as he usually does in the morning. He's a little more sedate. What's in this root beer? Yeah, drink it right now, can't you? Uh-huh. He didn't even tell me what was in it. I won't touch it. Not feeling like root beer at this time of the day. Okay, and anything else we want to... Let's see. State Department staffers are signing a letter of complaint about Biden supporting Israel. Let's see what other ones. Uh, Biden gives over billions to Iran. Hmm. Four months. They have, have extended by four months a sanctions waiver that will allow Iraq to continue to purchase electricity from Iran and gives Iran limited access to the proceeds to buy humanitarian goods, according to the Associated Press. A fine article. Coal, 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 coal. You silly great fat article. Article. The move is likely to draw criticism from Iran hawks on Capitol Hill and elsewhere who believe the extension will reward Iran at a time when it is coming under increasing pressure to end its support for proxy groups, including Hamas, that are destabilizing the Middle East and all of those problems that you know oh so well. There is roughly $10 billion in Iraqi payments for Iranian electricity currently being held in escrow accounts in Iraq. And the waiver will allow Baghdad to maintain its energy imports without fear of U.S. penalties for violating sanctions in Iran. The officials spoke on condition of anonymity, blah, 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 blah. You know, it just seems like what? Anything... <laughs> Any leg up we give to Iran does not look good at all with what's going on with Israel and Hamas. And then he, Biden, is uh, in uh, San Francisco meeting with China's Xi Jinping 
during the California summit. He's seeking to study his fraught relationship with the Chinese president so the White House can instead focus all its energy on Israel, Ukraine, and the upcoming re-election campaign, according to three senior administration officials. They had their high-stakes meeting yesterday. They faced... Uh, They met face to face In a year likely Their last meeting Before the US presidential election Amid a Growing threat of military conflict Conflict between the world's two largest Economies and a deepening Mistrust that has pushed relations to their Lowest point in a half century Um, We also Could be spending About 451 billion dollars To support Immigrants that come into the U.S. illegally This from Just the News Oh, and that last story from Politico The Fascinating Material Project FM Project Currently within the United States Could cost American taxpayers up to $451 billion a year This came from a report from the House Republicans And Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade to include non-binary and transgender extravaganza. It is causing controversy. The One Million Moms group has created an online petition voicing opposition to the move. This is from HotAir.com. And Disney has decided, according to the Daily Caller... To roll out pronoun pins For its employees Now I just recently took The uh, Discrimination training course There's like three different training courses Act you know to Prepare you in case of An active shooter uh, To educate you In the world of sexual harassment That sentence didn't sound right To avoid Any sexual harassment in the workplace That's basically what it was And other such helpful Tips And advice To make the workplace a good place A non-threatening Non-toxic environment And they talked about how You just really don't want to touch that Third rail About pronouns Allow people to use the pronouns they want to use That kind of thing Employees at the Epcot theme park at Walt Disney World can now fill out a form with their preferred pronouns to have them added to their name pin by scanning a QR code. That's kind of hidden. Okay. It's a, yeah. Find out what pronoun I am by scanning my QR code. According to pictures taken. (laughs) What? Wow. Kombucha. That is QR codes. That's what's going to tell us all what we are. The Word of Dog. (laughs) The Marco Minute. The Marco Minute. Fascinating stuff. That's what's going on in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody. So I just thought I'd bring that along to you. One last thing, and that is podcasters in general. If you're a fellow podcaster listening to this, you are probably one of the 99.9% that like to read everything. You write out your entire show. Stop it. I have something here from a very well-known consultant in the radio world He's been at it for decades And he sent, he's been sending this Email to me He sends it to an email account that I don't use anymore It was something I used when I worked back in Ventura Still recording the tapes by the way From Ventura that I used to do All my old air check tapes Of when I was on the radio Trying to get them digitally done But I'm having all those issues That I was talking about on the last podcast Thank you Amazon for selling Products that don't work But yes, this particular product I got from them Does not work The way I thought it would But I am finding out That this is very helpful Something that this consultant Used to send to me back in the day He still sends me this email And with this tip he said 
Talents hey, can take kids. a PSA or it's press me. release. Do re me the clown. And ad lib around it with an informal style. Substitute the words PSA or press release with a script. You know, people write out a script for a podcast script for their show, their show script that they then put in their show notes, which, yeah, all right, I'd rather read that than listen to you read it to me. If I want to hear you read something, I'll go to Audible and hear you read a book. Rather than reading it verbatim, this says they should deliver facts in a conversational tone. Edit extraneous details like ticket prices, the hours, the addresses, directions, phone numbers. Never, ever say when you're talking about the website, www. You sound so old. These details take the fun out of the announcement. Start with what's interesting or fun to see or do locally. Omit most details. Stick to the main draw and say where to get more info the event sponsor, or the station website. And don't say www. So I just thought that would be very, the word ad lib needs to be taken. Get, the word get needs to be remembered. And don't. (laughs) And the word ad lib needs to be used a lot more or thought of, considered strongly in the world of podcasting is all I wanted to share with you. If you are a fellow podcaster and if you would like to comment about anything I covered today, here's the number. Call Mike at the cafe. Anyway, hotline area code five, one, zero, two, two, eight, four, six, four, zero. And with more ways to reach me, here is a frame. Oh yeah. Email and website and all that stuff. And it's up. Yes. The website is still up. Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.